Hello, Internet. Salut tout le monde. It's the Midnight Poutine Podcast. Hi. You're always so excited. What's I up? love it. I, I, I am excited. It's Thursday. This is by Divine Reich. Okay, so uh, I'm Jeremy Morris. Uh, I, I'm doing the Midnight Poutine Podcast. I, I write for a, a local blog called Midnight Poutine. It's a blog that's devoted to Montreal cultural events, uh, restaurant reviews, um, theater performances, all sorts of things about arts and culture in Montreal. And I guess I got started there, I don't know, um, 2006, and uh, started doing uh, some writing for concert reviews there. I just wanted to try and write concert reviews and go to shows for free, so <laughs> that was one of the benefits of writing for the site. Uh, since then, I've become the music editor, and I do a weekly podcast. Oh, man. I love that song. <laughs> you like it, eh? Oh, I've been it's listening good. to it all morning. I've been going nuts over it. My name's Steve Faggy. I'm a uh, blogger. My blog's called Fagstein. I enjoy what I do because, you know, blogging gives me a platform to just say whatever I want. And, you know, I don't have to deal with editors or anyone else who wants to, you know, cut me down to a certain length or say what I can and cannot write about, which is kind of ironic because my day job is a copy editor. But I write about local media, especially local angle media. You know, the Gazette, the radio stations, the TV stations. I write a bit about uh, things that interest me, like public transit. It's about three years ago now. I was, you know, sort of doing it privately between friends. And at one point I was live blogging something off television and one of my friends passed it on to two others. Figuring out readers is a bit difficult online. My site gets about 2,000 visits a day. It varies from podcast to podcast. I check the stats every once in a while, but I think we're probably up around 1,000 listeners. Uh, certainly if I was relying on, on blogging to stock the fridge, it, would, uh, <laughs> it wouldn't do so well because uh, there's, there's no money in it, at least at, uh, at the way that I'm writing for it now. Yeah, uh, well, traditional media pays the bills. It's fun. It's, I mean, maybe you can make a little bit of money out of it, but compared to a career as a journalist at a newspaper or a TV station or radio station, um, it's not going to make a lot of money, um, certainly not by yourself. And uh, some people think that within a few years, we might be in a situation where, you know, it would make sense financially, but we're not at that point yet. <laughs> 